Christina here, the Critical Virgo. Welcome back to another Fragrance Fridays. Today I'm going to talk to you about a fragrance from Swiss Arabia. And this is a house I've talked about before and I've just been waiting for the right time to talk about this particular fragrance. It is Layali and it comes in a box like this. And the fragrance comes in this really gorgeous bottle. As you know, they're known for their beautiful presentation. And this is actually a concentrated oil, so it comes with a glass dabber. So depending on how you feel about that, that might make or break your buying choice with this one. Um, I feel like this is really appropriate for the cooler months that are coming ahead. Even though I am in South Florida, most of the world is cooling off. It's forever hot in here. Uh, the notes on this, top of black currant, orange blossom, and plum. A middle of ylang ylang, rose, and jasmine. And a base of argarwood and amber. The thing that really sticks out to me the most about this one is the opening. You can definitely tell that there's something sweet going on. It has to be that black currant and that plum coming through. It's a really safe introduction to oriental fragrances. At no particular point is this overpowering as far as the florals, the woods, or the sweetness goes. I feel like it's really well balanced and a really great introduction not only to, as I said, oriental fragrances, but to this house in particular. Now, when I smell this, I really do think of like the cooler months just because of how much depth and body it has to it. I do live in a very hot climate, so I do wear it year round and it is definitely something that you can use during the summer months as well. But just with the composure of it, I feel like it's more appropriate for like fall, winter, maybe early spring. I've actually been wearing this one all day and I can tell you that the longevity on it is excellent. I have very good wear time with all the concentrated oils from this house, in fact, and I think it's because of how they just sit on my skin. I know I've read some things um, from other people who have different experiences, but again, you know, wear time varies from person to person, so keep that in mind. I really like how this wears throughout the day. It is very linear on me. It doesn't transform very much at all. It just kind of settles down, um, so it does stay the same. I get, again, a lot of that sweetness from beginning to end. The florals are very well balanced. I don't smell one particular floral over anything else. And the woods are there too, but they're not very intimidating. And that is why I'm saying this is a really great introduction to oriental fragrances. Uh, I get excellent wear time, as I said before. I get a good full day's wear. I actually put this on this morning at seven o'clock and it is currently 8.02 p.m. and it's still going strong. Uh, production on this, obviously when you first put it on it's the strongest, but I do get a good foot to two feet worth of projection off of my skin. I've received compliments on this one in the past. Um, I know some of you like to know about compliments, some of you don't, it doesn't really matter. But I did get stopped in a bathroom a few weeks ago and someone asked me what I was wearing. So that was really nice and I always enjoy that. Because of the floral aspect to this and the strength that this fragrance can have, I have a really difficult time recommending this as a work scent. I really feel it's most appropriate as like an evening fragrance for date night or a weekend for playtime scent. Um, it is very deep, mysterious, sexy. Uh, I do want to say you guys know how I'm about fragrances and how things are really unisex, but this is a very feminine fragrance. So I can see a lot of men not going for this. I, in fact, I see most men uh, being uncomfortable wearing a fragrance like this. I feel like it's most appropriate for women and you guys don't hear me say that very much. So when I do say that, I want to say that it's very hyper feminine, sexy fragrance. I definitely would not want to smell this one on a guy. I'm sorry, fellas. But if you want to pick it up, then it is definitely something to put on your radar because it is very reasonably priced. You actually get 15 mils of concentrated oil in this bottle. And uh, there's a glass vial on the inside, so you can see the oil level through, which I really appreciate. And this retails for $34.99. And it'll last you a really long time because a little bit of this one goes a really long way. I feel like there's a great value for your dollar with this house, and I really appreciate that. And I'm sure a lot of other people do as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, comments, you know where to put them. Until next Friday, guys. Bye.